No. Please, no, my phone. Yes. Good day, everyone. It is my birthday today. My 35th birthday. And I'm going to celebrate this birthday by taking a celebratory walk up into the woods. Uh, and I'm going to bring some sausages and I'm going to start a fire uh, at this wonderful, uh, the fucking, it's not a storm shelter. <laughs> I don't know. It's a. You'll see the place in a bit. <laughs> Maybe I'll bring a spot of coffee up there as well. <laughs> I can heat over the fire. Actually, I'll just make the coffee at home and bring it with me in a thermos. <laughs> but I, f I reckoned I could make a video from along the way, which is why I already started doing the video from the long the way. Anyway, so I'm going to sh show you me packing my bag. <laughs> Hmm, let's see, my survival bag should be somewhere in here. Oh, no, this is just my favorite coat. Jogging Team 88, it is almost my birth year. My birth year is 89, um, 17th, January 17th. 17th January is not a, a year, it is a month and a day. It is a date, but this is a, a tracksuit that I found <laughs> at a local... Um, the second flea market sort of thing and I, I it is wonderful i should just start using this more it has old local sponsors on it as well from uh, 1988 which is all oh, amazing so anyway where's their fucking uh, here it is here is my survival bag it just this is an anchor anchor because i am a sailor oh my god i just dropped it but now let us see um the last time i've used this i've gone into the woods and maybe uh, it went in the search for some mushrooms, but I predict that there will be toilet paper in here. Oh, wow, it is my last energy drink that I have with me, and responsibly I took the con with me. Yep, my predictions were correct. There is a roll of toilet paper, which is always good to have because I always got other shits when I'm <laughs> out walking, so to, to not to have to, to wipe with me socks, I bring the. Uh, Hello there, Lou. There's my little kitten, Lou. Oh, oh, these are, uh, these are, uh, the, what the fuck? What is this made in like Germany in the 40s? We make it for you! Yeah, right? Um, oh, sorry, it was Lucy and not Lou. We have four cats. This is Lucy. I know Lucy. Chill. And, uh, Ooh, a plastic bag, maybe for the mushrooms that I brought home. Lucy likes it in the woods, I think. She has never been, but she would... What the fuck is this? Oh, is it, we're just, look, this is pre-Google. This is for the mushrooms. The, I'm going to have to... I'm oh, sorry, I'm going to have to drop the quote, unquote, accent. But I can't because it's very pleasing to me to speak like just nondescript weird man. Um... This is, look, before they had Google, they didn't know how to open this thing. So, <laughs> um, too bad for anyone owning this because they bought this and were like, I don't know how to open this. Let me Google it. All right, it's 1982, so we can't use Google. Anyway, now you just flick it open like this, right? And then there's this amazing just uh, database Yes, I go take a dump now. There's this amazing database of just mushrooms. Remember Lord of the Rings? Lord of the Rings was very prevalent in my last video. And apparently Lord of the Rings is prevalent again. It's a, it's a shortcut. A shortcut to what? Mushrooms. Anyway, so when I go up to the uh, woods, I bring this thing with me. When it's mushroom season, that is. And then I... It's really good. I don't like fucking taking out the... Ironically, I don't like taking out the phone when I'm out in the woods. Unless it is to keep the phone in my hand while filming. Yes. Give her some privacy, won't you? Nope, I'm coming to, to take a dump as well. You want it to clean up? There's a bit... There's a bit of a pee lump in there. Yes, please. After you're done, I will clean your bathroom. Um... So, I just, I just like the feel of, like, uh, seeing a mushroom and flipping through this thing. 
be like, oh, is it a, yeah, it is a guilt of vahvel. Of course, a cantarella or whatever. And also, I respond very well. Please, I'm making a video. Um, I respond very well to, like, scrolling things like, like this. I don't like scrolling things on the phone. Smartphone usage, scrolling time, just sitting down and scrolling for like four hours or whatever it is that people do and waste their days at. It's not a problem for me because I, I don't like scrolling because it feels like nothing. I'd rather sit and like do this with a pen for four hours than scroll on my phone because I need the physical input. Okay. Anyway, so. Oh, okay. I also last time brought a little uh, uh, a snack. Oops! Fatty McFatterson brought two snacks. <laughs> and this uh, some old. I think I had a knife wrapped in this. Where's my. Ah, no! I gotta evacuate because it smells like cat shit now. Ah. <clears throat> wow, look at these boys. Hey, boys. Ah, uh, beautiful boys. Mm, but we are sad. Uh, I am your aunt. Me too! <laughs> Lars is British. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Um, wait, how would Lars say me too? Hashtag me too. He would say... Um, 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 me too? Yeah, that was Lars. Okay, and now, time to pack my exclusive survival bag right here. Wait, what is... All right, I already pre-packed the TP. Good, good, good. Well, what will I need? First off, I will need the good old Cabanasi original. Very good sausages. Maybe I'll eat two or four. I don't know. Oh, here comes Lucy again. Lucy. And then these things to... to uh, oh, this is just three left but they make it for me, so it's fine. Um, then, one of these, I'll demonstrate these later. It's called a suit, these. it's effing great. Where are my matches though? I don't know. Oh, these is, oh wait, air, air rifle um, targets. I'm gonna take the air rifle out and lie in the snow and shoot some of these. I'm not gonna do that on camera because that's creepy and weird. And yeah, we all know what kind of people Made videos like that. Anyway, um, also the turoncinapi, the strong mustard, very good to have, and some birch. Um, this is way more firewood than I would need, but you know, you never know. Uh, um, birch, the MVP of firewood, burns fast, burns easy, burns quick, a lot of heat, um, smells delicious, and uh. This little knife, I was, this isn't my, um, I got this knife when I was, I think seven, and I cut my fingers, two of my fingers I sliced open with it when I was uh, also seven, and you know what I learned? I learned after that, I had to go to the hospital and, and sew my fingers back together. I learned to keep an eye on the knife and to keep an eye on my fingers. I have no idea how I actually, yes, hello Lucy. I have no idea how I actually managed to uh, cut myself because, so I was whittling down some like branch or something at our summer place. And I ended up cutting my fingers here. I ended up scalping, sorry if this is graphic. I ended up scalping uh, this joint and uh, cutting into this joint. So effectively like this, I still have the scars of course, like this. What the F was I doing? How is it possible? Look, what the fuck was I doing so that I cut myself like this? Where was the tree? What was I doing? What was it like this? Oh, it was probably some stupid thing like this. Yeah, yeah. Right. Did I learn something? Yes, I did. Anyway, I couldn't find my proper knife, so bring in this one. It's cool. All I need. Oh, and the only thing I need this for is to uh, find some. Uh, some little branch to whittle down so I can put the sausages on that and prepare them like that. So, yee, matches? Um, anyway. Okay, I'm stepping out. I'm dressed the same as I was uh, in that last outside video of mine when it was minus 20. I don't wanna lock myself out. And uh, now it is, as I said, a lot warmer. It's like minus five. And you know what? Feels like summer. Doesn't really look like summer, but uh, <laughs> uh, 
nice little fresh uh, breeze. Let's walk around the house and uh, get to the field. Ugh. This is uh, this is our garden. There's a big apple tree. There's smaller apple trees. Apple trees. Um, more apple trees, and then plum trees. Uh, blueberries, wine berries, uh, raspberries. Uh, our patch of uh, potato, potatoes, land. Okay, time to turn the camera around and uh, start uh, giving you some nice resolution footage. Wow, I should have brought the snowshoes. Eh, oof, really, really should have brought the snowshoes, but you know what, this is what we were working with now. And this is better exercise than, uh, than no snow at all, so. Ah, a nice day. Cloudy as you can see, not as pretty as last time, but I mean, nature is always pretty. Who the fuck am I to judge? It was maybe a little silly for me to start walking where I did because <laughs> quite a bit of snow here to get through. I'm gonna have to try to get up now with one hand, but <laughs> that's, the, that's the amount of snow that I have to deal with. Um, um, up to my knee. Uh, it could be worse. I need to try to <laughs> try to find the spots that are not like this. And uh, oh, a little mousy mouse. Where did you go, mouse? Let's fuck me. <laughs> I wish you could tell just how just how deep my legs are going. Maybe now you can. Awesome. Okay, I'm Kurt Russell, and this is the thing. That's the thing. Look at that little thing. What if that is just a pair of balls? A pair of testicles that has been like bounce, bounce, bounce. A bird with really large nuts flew low to the ground with a dangling nut sack. Ah, oh, we go. Yeah, well, this is no good. This isn't gonna work out. This is, my leg is actually extended. This isn't gonna work out. I'm gonna have to backtrack and uh, find it. Take a route that's not this, okay? So, uh, shit. Got it. Oh, well. Happy birthday. Uh, fuck. Ah. Some people go to a hotel. They're weak. Weak and lame. Not me. I'm just fucking dumb and moronic. Well, it is. No, the water's not frozen. See? It's still running. So I can't walk in the ditch. <sighs> well, I'll just <laughs> I'll just have to walk here then. Fine. I'll, I want to use all my four limbs now for coordination to get through this as quick as possible. So I won't be filming this, but it's gonna take me ten minutes, I reckon. Anyway, BRB. You might see it. You might don't. Nice, but there's an eagle. There it is. Hello, eagle. Ah, there you are, eagle. Love these guys. Cattails. The, uh, in the ditch. From the game that I mentioned in my last outside video, The Long Dark, I learned that cattails are edible. The stalks. <laughs> it exclusively says, the start of the game, it says, don't do any of this. This is like imaginary stuff some of it so I don't know also they're in Canada so maybe Canadian cattails are different but I love these guys if you're unfamiliar with these then uh, they're super soft and cuddly to the touch and then you sort of just do this and they vloof vloof oh fucking oh, shit fuck, I'm covered in this shit oh, fucking cattails now I'm in the ditch too. So that was a good move. 
Ooh. Oh, ah, okay, okay. Well, I mean, in theory, that was cool. I looked like, I looked like that eagle grabbed a mouse, landed on me, ate the thing on me, and then barfed it all over on me. Cool. Okay. Made it to the edge of the forest. I can take a path that goes past the forest, uh, around, uh, yeah, well, around the forest, has this longer, arduous climb, where I can just cut through the hillside, which is steep, lots of snow, lots of woods. It's gonna suck, but I might find something cool. Ooh, I was about to say there's no tracks or nothing because it hasn't really snowed that much recently and no one, no one's been walking here, but ta-da! Found your little walkie spot. Did you come from there? Did you come from there? Huh, I don't know. They discovered a pretty nice path there for me, Mr. Moose or Mrs. Ma'am Moose. So I'll just be uh, utilizing it, thank you very much. <laughs> well, now we're getting up here. Uh, came from there and here you see a lot of traffic yeah no wonder the moose were smarter than me they took the better route but as soon as i found their route boy did i ever utilize it i just started treading in the moose hoof steps <sighs> and i can just keep using their big old ah look at the size of these freaking steps <laughs> oops that's a little embarrassing. Well, here's a good place to rest for a while. Gather my strength before the last climb. Uh, let's look and listen for a sec. Yeah, okay, I came up the last bit on all fours. And there it is. There's that thing. I'll be camping out. Um, wish you could sort of get a um, glimpse of the perspectives here and the views. It's kind of tough when everything is white in the winter. So you can't really tell depth that well, especially through a screen like this, but here it is. This guy I knew built this some years ago. I hope he won't get mad that I'm filming it, but dude, sorry. But look at your handiwork, it's great. Uh, and I'm not telling anyone where this is, so no one can come, uh, no one can come sort of just hang out unless they want to. This is actually my stick. I was up here a couple of months ago and I thought I heard a wolf, so I had to set a fire there. And I grabbed a stick to defend myself from the one. No wolf came, but I mean, I did hear some weird growling in the bushes. One a fucking dog. Or something else. So yeah. Maybe I just put the camera here. Let's start preparing a little bit. It's super hot. I'm actually not hungry at all because I'm so hot. Uh, could have a sip of my highly sugared energy drink though, which I also brought. No water, of course, because I would be responsible. Uh, but uh, energy drinks, yeah. Sugar, yeah. get out of here because the you put the fire in the actual pit. I need to get rid of the snow so I can find the cover. There it is. Man, that was 
sweat is freezing, so I need to close my jacket back up. Cold. Whoops, the wind caught my phone and threw it down to the ground, but uh, we're in the snow, so I hope my phone doesn't crap out and just die because I got cold in a bit, but, um, okay, well, see not be. Oh, I need all these pieces of firewood. Yeah, I'm not by no means a expert, um, what's it called, like a wilderness scout or a person like that. I'm just a person who has grown up in a household that goes out camping all the time. Not goes out camping, just starts a lot of fucking fires every day uh, in the house, fireplace, um, burning paper trash, burning leave piles, just having fire as an element, but always, always taught to respect the fire and always taught that fire is not a plaything. Matches are not a plaything. And you know what I did when I was eight years old? Played with matches. You know what happened? Started a fire. All the snow was gone, and like last year's high meadow grass was coming out. It was really dry. Played with matches there. Wind ended up taking the fire. Burned the whole fucking field down. I had to call the uh, fire department. They showed up. And I, meanwhile, I was running up to the house, filled our dog's water bowl, ran down back to the field to toss one bowl of water. I mean, eight-year-old logic on the fire, trying to help it, but boy, it spread fast and. Again, did I learn something? Yeah, don't play with matches. So anyway, all this is to say that I'm gonna tr try to make the fire as effectively as possible, but none of this, what you see me do, is something that you'll learn from a pro, right? I just know from experience or my own fire logic is how, how I'm supposed to do this, so. Ha! <laughs> okay, all right, this is what we have to work with. These are some old half-burnt logs or trees that are down here. Um, frozen wet, humid and stuff. Uh, thinking of taking them out, but there's anyway, there's ice underneath here, which is also humid and fucking moist, so whatever. Maybe I'll just keep these, and then look, okay, let's see how this works. I'll take two of these. I'll use this as like a uh, thing, yes, and then I put two of these, because all I really need is some fire to keep the fire going for long enough for me to get some sausage action. So I don't need like a fucking, I don't need a pyre, I don't need cinders. I just need this to go, keep going. So, prop this in there in the middle. And now, oh, I've only got three of these, so better make them count. No, it's worn, damn it. go. Let it catch a little before I put it down there. Oh shit. Not bring it up because it's windy up here. Alright. Toss it there. Yeah, this will work. Now I'll just put this there on top. I'm hoping that I get the uppermost like this one to burn effectively as quick as possible. So before all the humidity stops or starts showing up from underneath the trees, I'll have enough of a fire going to make some sausage. Oh man, I wish you had smell low vision Because <sighs> winter doesn't smell like anything. All the snow out here, is, everything's completely sterile. So there's no smells of anything. But the firewood burning right now, the birch, Okay, now, well, this is happening. I'll go look for, um, for a, um, one of these, only, <laughs> only in self-made form, in DIY form from the ranch. Let's go, it'll be fun. Okay, I borrowed a piece of birch from these young trees up here. I don't 
You're not supposed to c- kill or cut living trees, but I mean, for survival purposes, you do what you got to do. Okay. Also, it's good to uh, it's good to uh, get rid of some of the branches. They don't need all the branches. And uh, anyway, let's go see how the fire's doing. It's doing. Hello. That's good enough. All right. Of course, I want the, uh, I want the stick to be strong enough to hold up these sausages maybe one at a time, but it doesn't really need all this, so let's get rid of that. That and voila, or voila, we got this really good smelling. Mmm, more birch. Now I can just put a sausage in there, and then, and then, oh, good, good shit. Or keep this. I had a bit of <laughs> had a bit of a fire failure. I was being a dumbass, and then I ruined my fire. But now it's it's fine now. It's, I'm fixing it, and uh, <laughs> this sausage, yeah, it's almost starting to get sort of warm on one side. So anyway, yeah, we're doing good. I'll, I'm not filming too much right now because all I want to do is like really just sit down and enjoy this. So, uh, mm. I just had a bite of the cabanossi, and it's not really done. But I mean, I can't really expect to have a completely cooked plus they're not raw so they don't have to be they don't have to be completely cooked you can eat them just just as is really but uh, uh i think it's time to put some scene up beyond this one and just shove it in my mouth look at this beautiful scenery this is look this is finland please focus on the sausage there we go mm. well, um, how do i do this now i need to put the scene up on this but fuck I also have the up. It's mustard. It's up. I also have that in my beard now. Ugh. Hang on. I'll put this here. Ugh. Okay, great. Enjoy this view. I need a few more. Well, lunch is done. It's pretty delicious, actually. Oh, um, yum. <laughs> Mm. I'm just thinking now if I should hike back the same way, which is boring. <sighs> but at least I know, you know, what the con- what the terrain is, and I can go back the same way I came, which is means I have a path, which means it'll be kind of easy and nice. Or I could explore, but you know what? I'm not really not in the exploring mood right now, mostly because there's so much snow, and the weather is a little drab. I gotta say. I reiterate, the Finnish winter is absolutely beautiful, and I love it. Uh, and it's still several degrees uh, f- freezing, minus Celsius. But it's just not as inspiring as when it was minus 20, which pushed me to explore and explore and explore. So, you know. Ah, but still. Still great, though. I mean, look at this. Yeah, so we'll see. Just gonna hang out here for another while. The the uh, fire is not dying out; it's already died. That's why it's so much. There's so much smoke. But pack my little survival bag, hang out here for a bit. Maybe if I'm really quiet and stuff. Um, here's some ravens. See some ravens.
I have to keep exploring, man. Of course I have to. I can't just not. Everything's too awesome and it's not, it's not, there's not so much snow. There's way more snow or deeper snow down in the fields than here in the woods. On top of the hills. Plenty of animal checks. Look over and be hype over. Bird life, all kinds of cool stuff. I'll update you once something happens. I just heard something, and I don't think it was my clothing, but it probably was, so never mind. Ugh. Let's climb on, climb up on these rocks. Why not? Yo, if this was a Skyrim, there'd be a bear in there. Or a necromancer. But I see no one. I guess, uh, I bet, <laughs> I bet the Thalmor had something to do with this. Ooh, I gotta watch my step here, by the way, because there's, I mean, it looks like snow, but there's like, I know, because I know these rocks from the summertime, that there's a bunch of creases in here, which you can't see, and I don't want to step in them and fall down. That'd be haha -ha funny, man falls down. Ugh. Yep. Mm. Guess what just happened? Well, just... <sighs> and actually... It was uh, the last video from uh, when I was out in the woods. When I ended up on those uh, hills with the Kirby colors, that was uh, over there. My fingers are right now. We have a valley going down, boo, and then it rises. You, uh, the best spot. Oh man, in the summer, because you have leaf trees here as well, along with the evergreens. So there's so many colors. Oh, I can't wait to can't wait to take you guys up here in the summer as well and in the springtime. Okay, another thing about me, which is weird and doesn't make any sense really, uh, maybe, or then maybe it does make complete sense, is that when I'm around big buildings, tall structures made by man, whatever, I get vertigo even just by looking up at them. I don't want to see high buildings. I don't want to be in them. I don't want to be near them. They make me feel uneasy and sort of sick. And as I said, I get vertigo. But then when I'm at high places in nature, I feel nothing, I feel nothing. I feel none of the vertigo. Um, that's why I don't even know if I have a bad head for heights or if I have a fear of heights because that fear of heights is never applicable when I'm in nature, right? I mean, again, the perspective is maybe off here and you can't really tell, but I mean, I'm certainly higher up here than I ever would comfortably be in like a city or a building or wherever but here it's just like I on the contrary I feel drawn down there I want to descend there I just want to like tumble down there and yeah, maybe I will maybe I just fucking here I gotta be a little nuts to do this but that's the path down there that I want to get to and here I am and this is like a down there if my spouse saw this she would kill me She's always like, no, you don't do it, don't do it. But you know what? No one's here now. And I know exactly what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do. I need to go here. I'll grab one of these branches are enough to make me keep my balance. And then I'll hold onto that, onto that um, birch there and hold on to it for as long as I can with my arms fully extended backwards, upwards. And then at that point, my I'll be, you know, there's no, there's, at that point I could just drop myself, zoom. Like slide all the way over there, repeat the process holding onto those juniper bushes over there. Um, 
and then jump down there. So it's fine. Okay, I'll update you in a moment with broken legs. Okay, see, everything's going exactly. Ex- Everything's good. Now I can sort of see that I'm high up and I'm kind of getting like, woo, queasy, but not really. Just excited. Um, yeah, everything's going according to plan. Here's this birch, and there's my little tumble down there, and I'll just like have a fun little. have a fun little tumbly slide down this slope. Or not even tumbly, I'll just sit on my ass. Um, here we go? Question mark. Now I'm getting cold feet. Literally, so I need to get a move on. Update, I'm fine, and that was really fun. <laughs> that was really fun. There's that birch that I held on to, and then I ne- noticed there was a thinner, younger birch there. So I could grab a hold of it and hold it with me, bend it all the way along the hillside there. But that only took me that far. And then I just slid down, and it's completely covered in ice. So I just... And there was like a jump here, which I didn't, of course, I didn't see from up there. So I just awkwardly tumbled. It was really funny. I just, I, that was the most fun I've had in a long time. Ugh, the excitement. Okay, I better not just roll down there. <laughs> Maybe I should. This is fun. This is awesome. <laughs> like, what the fuck? What happens to my, like, self-preservation? My, my survival instinct when I'm out in nature? It's like it's gone. But, but now I'm sort of down here. I just need to get... To- Tumble down this, tumble, tumble down this, and that'll be a piece of cake. So here we go. It's still recording. That's great. Wow. <laughs> Woof. That's where I came sliding down. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm so glad I found my phone. My spouse would have very much killed me if I came home and said, yo, I slept down the fucking hillside, the vertical hillside for one, and I <laughs> filled myself and my flow phone flew out of my head. <laughs> That was so much fun. Oh my god, I want to do that again. Okay, I won't. Gotta gotta head home soon, but wow. Oh well, I am, uh, I guess, what you'd call insane. (laughs) That was fun. Okay, my storage is getting low on my phone, so I'm gonna have to start just getting my fucking self out of these woods without dying or losing my phone again. So if this is goodbye, then goodbye. I've made it out of the woods. I'm now out of the woods. But on the way out, I got excited and started running down the hill, the remainder of the hill. Of course, my foot got snared in some shrubbery or some shit that was underneath the snow. So I fell face first. I flew. I wish I would have filmed that. I flew like horizontally face first into the snow or head first, I should say. Whenever I trip, whenever I fall, whenever something happens to me physically, which is just dumb, or would look ridiculous, I laugh. It's the funniest thing to me in the world is when something dumb happens to me. I can't not help but just laugh at it. Like when I just dropped my phone in the snow, I was potentially hundreds of bucks thrown down the toilet. 
because I did something stupid while filming it, which is also stupid, which could have just cost me my phone and my honor. But my reaction to that is to just laugh at it, how ridiculously stupid it is. And that is something that gets me through life. And that is something that has gotten me through a lot of anxiety in life. Is uh, like when my brain comes up with something ridiculous and my body um, has these really out of place, intense reactions to some minute detail in something around me. At the end of the day, I have to ridicule it because it won't have any power over me. If it's something that's dumb, that sends me off wanting to just die, then I'm going to call it dumb afterwards. I'm not going to give it any more power than that. Who are you? Anyway, that's about all my hope phone can handle for this time. So thanks for joining me on my epic birthday. Swiss. <laughs> not going to say that word on my epic adventure. Mwah, mwah.